In 1962, the movie premiere of To Kill a Mockingbird changed moviegoers' lives with a message that really still rings true today. Well, Mary Badham is the actress that played Scout in that movie, and she was in town at the San Marco Bookstore, and our Rance Adams had a chance to catch up with her this weekend. And I think that's all the reading for tonight, honey. It's getting late. What time is it? It's 8.30. May I see you watch? Ms. Mary Badham was only nine years old when she was cast in the role of Scout in the 1962 film version of the Harper Lee novel, To Kill a Mockingbird. While Hollywood was miles away from her hometown of Birmingham, Alabama, Ms. Badham had a lot in common with her fictional character. My Calpurnia was in the form of Mrs. Beatty Harris and Mrs. Frankie McCall. They raised me. Um, and, and Frankie McCall was incredible. I mean, she was our major domo. She raised like six generations of Battams. She was an amazing woman. Although Ms. Battam starred in To Kill a Mockingbird, it wasn't until she was forced to read the novel that she truly understood its impact. I didn't read the book until I got a call from Professor Inge over to college. And he said, I'd like for you to come and speak with my English lit class. Well, before I could even get seated at the table, this first question was, so what was your favorite chapter in the book? <laughs> <laughs> and I guess you could tell by the look on my face, I hadn't read the book. <laughs> and, and I'm so glad that I did because it really filled in so many of the gaps. And you get to really see Boo, and you get to see all these other characters that aren't in the film. Uh, that I had no clue about that were so wonderful. According to Miss Badham, despite the film's success and critical acclaim, it did little to change the minds of those in her hometown. It was difficult because what you have to understand is in the South, things were pretty much the way they always had been, especially in Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, and, and they were not ready for change. And then I went to California, where, you know, we had friends of all colors, races, and creeds. And we would go to their house, and they would come to our apartment. And, and I mean, there was no, no problem. <laughs> so I really had my eyes open to the rest of the world. Reading has been important to Ms. Badham and her family, with a special love for bookstores. It's critical um, for, for people to um, hang on to these bookstores. Um, parents, bring your children, grandmothers and grandfathers, please bring your kids to the bookstores, to the libraries. If you teach someone to learn to love to read, they will never be bored, they'll never be lonely, they'll always be learning something new. When you heard Harper Lee passed, how did that hit you? pretty hard. Did you ever get to meet her? Oh yeah, yeah. She was, she was wonderful. She had such a marvelous sense of humor and I'll miss that laugh. Um, I'll miss our time together. We didn't have much but what time we did have we made the most of it. She was absolutely wonderful. As was everyone who had anything to do with the film. I really um, think that Mockingbird really formed my life and formed my mission um, to try and bring us together as a people. We, each of us, have had experiences in our lives that are so uh, worthy of note. Um, and each one of us has something to give to the other through their experiences in life that will make us grow. I'm Rance Adams for River City Live. And of course, we'd like to thank Mary Batum for sitting down with Rance for that interview. And if you've never been to the San Marco Bookstore, it really is a River City gem. You should check it out. It's on San Marco Square. Mark?